Hey y'all, I'm really tired. I just got back from a Jose James concert and it was amazing. But it is 1 a.m. Berlin time and that means I have five hours until it's midnight uh, East Coast American time and then I will not be a man of my word if I don't get this video edited and uploaded by before midnight uh, American time. So I'm racing with the clock. Here we go. I went to the Grammys for the first time back in 2014 and it was the year that um, what's the group? Pharrell and Nile Rodgers and Daft Punk. They won all those Grammys and Madonna played that year. Stevie Wonder came out and sang with Daft Punk and Pharrell and Nile Rodgers. Um, that was a really exciting year. Beyonce opened the Grammys that year. And it was just great. It was great. The whole week in L.A. was really fun. L.A. is such a beautiful city. It's sunny. It's exciting. It's Hollywood, you know? Um, I got to see for the first time an amazing band called Rye. I also got to see for the first time Room Full of Teeth, an amazing contemporary classical vocal group. <laughs> I got to see Kathy Griffin win her first Grammy, which was a very memorable, hilarious moment. Here's in a row when I finally won, damn it! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, in the history of best comedy album, only two other women have won. Lily Tomlin and Whoopi Goldberg. I stand in great company. And I got to see Layla Hathaway win her first Grammy! So everything was not peachy at the Grammys. There were tons of after parties, and I went to a few. I went to one for Spotify. I can't remember. Um, it's the best that I don't remember. <laughs> but something really bad happened there. Uh, I was there with uh, Noah, the producer of my last album, The Real Thing, and some of his friends, some of his musician and producer friends. So, one of his friends and I decided to start walking around and mingling. We didn't know anyone there. So, we walk up to this group of people, it's maybe like three or four people, and we introduce ourselves. And they decide they didn't want to either introduce themselves or like even talk to us they started to slowly turn their backs to us and walked away I was so pissed I was so not even pissed isn't even the right word My, I was really hurt because I felt like I didn't matter. It was just the strangest energy. And it taught me many things. I don't ever want to make anyone feel like they are not alive. <laughs> um, everyone deserves respect. Everyone deserves love. Everyone deserves to be acknowledged. Um, we all breathe the same air and it's unfathomable that you could just blatantly ignore someone who is <laughs> right in your face. So I heard that LA could be kind of cold sometimes, but I didn't think it would be quite like that. Sometimes people have one thing on their mind and that's how to connect with the most powerful uh, 
fame is whatever person in the room. So everyone else kind of doesn't matter to them. And that's really strange to see. That was another thing that kind of creeped me out. Let's say if a celebrity or a big time manager comes, like people just swarm around them and are trying to charm them and to get their attention. It's really creepy. <laughs> But I guess award season attracts those types of people to um, big cities like L.A. or maybe in New York or something. That is not the life for me. I will just sing my song and, <laughs> and let, that, let the chips fall where they may. Be yourself. Love yourself. Love other people. Respect other people. We're going to make the world a better place that way. And all this senseless killing and hate that's trying to overtake a country will stop.